freshy though. There's lots of uh, sign in here of animals. Got uh, even a skull fragment right here with the teeth still in it. Here. Ugh. Okay. That's cool, this is like a little waterfall. Yeah, huh? It's awesome in the summer. It's pretty cool. It's like all the rocks you can see out here. Yeah, it is. suspect of the disappearance of Dylan Rounds. But the deputy chief from the Box Elder County Sheriff's Department isn't ruling out that he may have had some help. Chief Brenner is our primary suspect at this time. Uh, lots of other names have been shared with us. I can't say that James is our only suspect. I can't say that James is our only suspect. I can't say that James is our only suspect. According to arresting documents, investigators found a time-lapse video of Brenner cleaning a gun with blood stains on his arms and shirt. Police were able to obtain the shirt and found Dylan's DNA on it. Although police have not released a motive, Cooley believes her son's murder was not premeditated. One, two, three, go! So we're checking out this cave over here. You noticed it from the hillside, so on the road. Just gonna go check it out. It looked like it was a pretty good size one. Cane man. Hey. started snowing a little bit kind of backing off a little bit now for us with looks like more to come Getting close. Not bad. So, yeah, from here you could easily see, like, right now there's fog, but there's grain shed properties over in that direction. Dylan's farm's over there. So, idea being might be a you know an area to check out if you know Brenner was thinking he could keep an eye on it you know from where he was staying maybe so it's just things to think about sometimes not you know not every killer but a lot of times killers will bury their victims in places where they can keep an eye on it 
that way they can check to see if anybody's looking or you know it's just kind of it's just something they do all right coming up on the cave here kane What'd you say? That cave looks awesome. Yeah. Here, do you want to do the flashlight? Yeah, sure. Big one or the... I'll see you guys. Okay. Sun's coming out now. Ooh. Elk sign. Yep. Really? Pretty recent, yeah. Yeah. That looks like the top of a whale. <laughs> like it's just like the like it just got buried in the sand. I think it's a, is it the blue whale or is it the gray whale that has a back that looks like that? I can't remember now. I think it might be the blue whale, but I get it mixed up. I know the blue whale is a bigger one. The biggest. biggest whale, right? Yeah. Biggest whale, yeah. Look at that, there's the moss coming back. Anybody home? Let's try to make sure we warn anything that's up there. We're coming so we don't scare it. Hopefully we don't find more coyote pups. <sighs> Usually it's not really something you find out here, so I'm kind of crazy finding those pups. <sighs> cool rocks, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, look at this one. Definitely a nest. Something up here. Good sized nest. Oh. Okay. That one might be like a rodent nest. Yeah. There's some bones though outside of here. It looks like a rabbit bone right there. Yeah, some jaw bone right here. contrast there so you can see what I'm talking about. Here we go. And then this is a rabbit hip bone with the acetabulum right there and the vertebrae. Found another one. There's another jawbone. Yep. Yeah. I found it. There's some more. Looks like a fairly fresh coyote sign right there. And then, got a pretty old bone right there. So, uh, rats scat over there. Rats scat. <sighs> okay, careful. It's really steep coming down right here. Yeah. I think there's another cave over here off to the side though, so. Whoa, another bone. Nice. I'm not sure what type of bone there is. Looks like a small animal bone though. <clears throat> wow. Pretty awesome the rock formations here. Yep, just a little little den right here. Outcrop here. 
There's some bones. Oh no, that's just a stick that's really bright. There's one right here though. It's an older one. Yeah, looks like a shoulder bone, smaller, like a rabbit shoulder bone. Yeah. Okay. Lots of little huh. caves up in the rocks. Here, I'm gonna let's try to climb up this one and be careful, okay? Okay, I'm not climbing that, but let me get it. Out. See how this is loose? Gotta yeah, be careful, okay? Just let me climb up to this one, Kane. Okay. Here, will you hand me the flashlight? Yeah. I don't want you to Careful. fall and get hurt, yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah. We're walking right on the edge here. Make sure there's nothing in there. Okay. Let's go. Oh, oh yeah. Shoot. Yep, yeah, this is real dangerous though. This is a fresh Freshy though, there's lots of uh, Sign in here of animals you Got uh, even a skull fragment right here With the teeth still in it here Ugh. Antelope or something. Poor thing. All right. Um. That's it for up here. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, we'll check it out. Focus on. Uh, Falling from here. What? All right, we're good. All right, coming down. Yep. All right. Oh, take the who else out there? Oh, yeah. Good eye. Alright. I'm over there on that old hill. Over here? Where yeah, there's a bunch of little nooks and crannies over there. Yeah. Those things are pretty small, though. Oh, look at the layering in the rock here. You can see the cow path or the game trail right here where they walk. It's all dug out on the hill right here. Yep. So I got a splinter in my boot. Oh, you're okay. You okay? Did you get it out? Yeah, I got it out. You gonna retie your boot? What you said? Do you want to retie your boot? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I don't want you to trip. Oh. Wow, the slate. That's cool. Looks like a llama. Should we give that to mom? Oh. Looks like a llama. Cool. Alright. Right. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Alrighty dude. I think let's turn around and head back to the car. 
There's that little one over there. Maybe we could go check that out. Yeah. See that one over there? Yeah, it looks fun. We'll check that out on the way back. Let's go. Oh, look, there's a trash over here. Check that out. Mountain Dew, old can. Do the do. That dew's been done. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mountain done. More Elky. Love you, Love you more than dinosaur. Oh. Okay, we're coming up on our destination. Tracks elk side. More elk. More elk. This is a really cool looking rock right here, Kate. Check that out. No, this is a cool looking me. Yeah. Alright. Coming up on our cave over here. Oh, that's a crazy looking cave. Man, the elk were really prominent on this hill. Wow, look at this ravine right here. <laughs> you have to cross that to get up there. Can you see fun. that? Yeah. Yep. Oh, this have to... might be easier. There's a little... Oh, look at this, yeah. A little bridge right here. Uh-huh. A little rock bridge. This is where the ravine starts. Wow. Pretty cool, dude. This is awesome. Careful, hey. Yeah. Let me uh, catch up. Uh. Oh, look. Hold up, go this way. What is that over there? I have no idea. That looks like a platform of some sort. Yeah, you know, I... Okay, let's go. Well, now we got to go check that out. Yeah. Okay. Cool, this is like a little waterfall. Yeah, huh? It's gonna be awesome in the summer. Yeah. Okay, let's check it out up here, see if there's any bones or anything. Step lively. Oh, here we go, yeah. Another rodent nest looks like. <sighs> Pretty cool rock outcrop though. <sighs> Another little nest in there. Okay, let's keep going this way where we saw that platform and stuff. Looked like like a handrail or something too. I don't know. That was weird looking. Yeah, here it is. Watch out. 
watch out for the snow. Let's try to get back over here in the dirt. Yeah, if you have any information about Dylan or Susan Powell or Tommy Novak, let us know because they could all be missing in the same, you know, area for all we know. They all went missing in this, in this area, from this area, you know. Um, Susan Powell and her family were seen out here the week before she went missing. So it's um yeah and their their van was like kind of broken down or something I think is what the witness had said. So who knows? Wow, okay, this is weird, dude. This is barbed like wire. The, this is barbed wire around it. Hold on. This is like the raptor pen from Jurassic Park. The raptor pen. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Sh oh yeah. Shoot. Okay, so this is like a water catchment thing. Okay, so water falls on here, collects there, and then out water right guzzler. Yeah, but why do they have it all barbed wire off so, so the animals ca can't get it? Yeah. That's weird, right? Yeah. You'd think they'd want the animals to be able to get to it. I wonder why it's barbed wired off. Weird. Interesting, right? Well, now we know what it is. Huh. Well, well like, you very first see it looks like a rack type of rack park, doesn't it? Totally. Yep. Wonder. That's just so weird. Mm. Why in just this area? Yeah. There's like a lid underneath it. There's a lid, yeah. It's a water guzzler. Yeah. Wouldn't really be able to fit under there. I could possibly do it. Yeah, but to get somebody underneath there that would and be try really to. Hard. Yeah. You would have to call underneath there yourself, too. No signs that anybody's been out here walking around it or, you know. I don't know, dude. It's got it all barbed wire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Imagine how hard it would, would be to get all the supplies up here, too. Yeah. Probably really hard. You would have to drag it up here yourself. Yep. Rocks you can see out here. Yeah, it is. Well, I'm calling this like a little river or a pool or a ravine down all the way down. Oh, yeah. Cool.
snow melts down here? Yeah, it is. Like, is it gonna be like a waterfall right here? All right, let's go around that back that way again. Crazy how the fracturing goes with the rock. You know how it goes from such a small opening. Awesome. You guys can see all the. Uh, 